let's consider our ways. Let's consider our ways before the fact instead of after the fact. That's what God wants us to do. Consider what we do before we, before we get on a fix that we can't get out of. Consider what we do before we cross the line and can't get back. Consider what we do before we fall in a trap that can possibly cost us everything. That, that, that's all I'm, uh, I'm saying. Is consider your ways before the fact and after the fact because after the fact, we are not in control of the uh, consequences, especially when somebody else is involved. Are, are you hearing me? We got to understand that there are some things, uh, uh, and listen to this closely, there are some things saying I'm sorry can't fix. Lord, help me. You know, you know how we do sometimes? We just want to do things our way, and then we get in the fix. We get in a situation, amen, and consequences are, are, are upon us now. You know, uh, saying I'm sorry ain't going to fix a whole lot of stuff. I, I wish some young folks would hear me this. Go, go out and do foolish things, and now they're standing before a judge that really don't know them. And whether he know you or not, their job is to rule according to the law. So, so whether they know you or not really don't make any difference. But when you get there saying I'm sorry, ain't going to change nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. When somebody else is involved, we got to understand that there are some things that saying I'm sorry just won't fix. Young people, many mess up their lives before they even get started. And they are genuinely sorry after the fact, but it does not change the consequences. Does not change the consequences whether it's naturally or even whether it's spiritual. Natural and spiritual laws are in place now. 